Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Steven again. I'd like to make a video. Yes, it's me again. And uh Cindy's in the house, of course. Um I stopped the ice cream man and uh got myself some ice cream fell up better now. I got a sugar and spend so high. Get out there. Um I want to speak a little bit about um too much protein, okay? And brain diseases, okay? Actually, it goes into uh, the old-fashioned days of uh, cow's disease, I think they call it. Um, yeah, it's the easier way of saying it for brain diseases is the old cow disease. I think I think of like Cindy, I think. Um, okay, it, this is basically the, the synthesis of this. The way to break this down is to say, okay, too much protein is in the brain. Okay, and when you have too much protein that's concoction like stuck in the brain around the brain hemorrhages, you know hemispheres and you have meningenes and all those stuff are fancy words. Basically, if you have too much uh, protein on any part of your body, especially the brain, even the kidneys, it can destroy the kidney. Okay, here's how it works. Hey, okay. Let's go with that thing I said about the cow disease, okay? Meat that you eat, and uh, it's rare. Okay, that one was rare. One out of one million cases were reported back in the old days. And now they're having an epidemic coming out now. So I've here heard, okay? Not only do they have an epidemic of that coming out, they have an epidemic of the flu coming out, too, on top of that. So we really got to watch our health care system. I mean, in a way, it's good that we have what we have today. I don't like to say too much, but it's good to have, you know, what uh, kicks in, Obamacare, guys. Okay? Because what are we going to do without it? Think about it. I mean, and maybe there's a reason, you know, for that, honestly. I mean, there's reason for everything in this world. I mean, doctors, okay, listen, I'll tell you a little secret. It's not really a secret. It probably was on the news. You've probably seen it. Okay, it's so bad in hospitals now on doctors. I've seen, they claim, okay, I've seen doctors who've taken, um, what is it called, uh, money from people, um, charities, money, um, donations, that's the word, donations from people. Because something about the insurance companies aren't paying them enough money for their services. Even though an insurance company can't, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. An insurance company can't deny you coverage for you to be seen from a doctor. They're not saying that. What they're trying to do is trying to cut down the limitations on, on how much they're going to pay a doctor. You see? That's what is going on in the world, okay? Okay, like example, during the de debate, debates, <laughs> see, I'm stuttering just a little bit. During the debate, listen carefully, okay, Obama and whatever his name is, Romney, I think his name is, they're trying to get the Medicare, I'm just speaking, that's all, Medicare down, the cost down to 25%. Okay, right? Okay, that's the lowest you could possibly. Every Republican, okay, a lot of Republicans like, no, not really Republicans, Democrats. They like to get it down to 25%, plus, well, the Democrats do too. I mean, Republicans both do. They both want to get the spending down to 25%, or the lowest possible they can deal with. Okay, but the bad thing is, who loses out? I mean, I'm not sticking up for them 100%. The doctor loses out on his payments. Okay, there goes his car. Okay, there goes his house. There goes his fancy house. There goes his fancy car. Because a lot of people like us, I'm not putting us down, people. I'm not trying to put anybody down. I am telling the truth. Okay, the honest truth, I will raise my hand like in the court of law. Okay, my, 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 my ring is backwards, guys. That's why you see it like that. Sorry. But anyway, I solemnly swear. Okay, listen. Under oath, okay? 
Listen, every American out there is not just exactly rich. You work your tail off, you guys work your asses off. Okay? Every American worker out there, if you got a job, I'm not putting you down for that either. The reason why I say that, I'll explain it, is because it's not your fault. Okay? It's not your fault. I don't care if you're white, black, Hispanic, or Chinese. Or Japanese, okay? Or Russian, for that matter. Russians are smart guys. Russians are the very smartest people in the world, okay? And China people are very smart too. Very smart people. That's why we need to collaborate with them more often. Okay, but anyway, I know the China, you know, China is not exactly happy with situations what happened in the past. But, Rump, Donald Rump, Trump, not Rump. I don't, I don't know where I came from. Donald Trump, sorry. Donald Trump, <laughs> okay, made a point the other day about uh, China, okay? Okay, they're not even, in one day, they get their money back from what Obama spent, okay? From blank check, they can get their money back. They can get their money back easily by taxing them and they're working practically for, you know, by taxing them. I mean, they're making their money by trading and buying and selling, right? So they love the United States because they can make money off of us. So they're not really losing any money. We're losing money. By, the way we're losing money is by spending money wildly, stupidly, um, war, Okay, uh, what else we spend money on? Uh, the NASA program was stupid for a while. I, I like NASA, don't get me wrong, but when you can't afford it, you can't afford it, you know? But the only thing I disagree with is, um, what is it? Drones, okay, that's, that's unnecessary. Nobody needs to know exactly what time. Kids, if you have any kids in the room, please dismiss them right now, folks. Okay, this is going to be rated R. Okay, please dismiss them right now. I want to say something. Okay, please. This is a warning to all adults. Okay, I'm going to say it. The reason why I do not like drones, okay, is because let's say you and your old lady, I'm going to say old lady, okay, you guys want to have a little bit of quiet time. And you want to have that nice candle lit, okay? Because I'm saying nicely, guys. I'm not saying anything bad sexually. Okay. Very bad, anyway. Okay, you wanted to, to do the thing. Okay? You wanted to have them, you know, get your groove on. Okay, I'm saying it. See, so for Christ's sakes, these kids probably know what the hell it is anyway. But anyway, um, it's nothing bad. I mean, gosh, you got married for a reason, right? I mean, to be romantic, right? But you don't need no some dumb damn drone coming across from the United States government knowing exactly what you, what you did and how you got somebody pregnant, you know? I mean, how many times you did it, you know? I hope the kids are off the room, guys. And, uh, you know, you don't need some drone seeing how, how large, big your penis is, you know? For Christ's sake, you know? I mean, then go back and tell, you know, the White House, you know? Oh, we've seen something, you know, this, not, this, not, this, not, you know. Or going by Lindsay Lohan's house and seeing something you may not want to see, you know. You might see a drunken old party. You might see, see Charlie Sheen half half naked on um, half of the toilet puking. He's got stuff from a cocaine binge. And then, then maybe you might see him over leaning over on top of, uh, of Lindsay Lohan, who knows, chewing her out, you know. So you never know what you might get. You know, so that may, that may, that's why he gave her some money for rehab. And for, or for to help her out from, to get her out of uh, jail or whatever. <laughs> you know? Because, I mean, if he's giving her money, obviously he's he's banging her, okay? That's what he's doing. He's banging her. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's obvious. Charlie Sheen is banging. This this was so good for that one show on uh, you see on TV all the time. I mean, she's like the one show. Well, I'm thinking the name of it one of these days. Anyway, you know who I'm talking about. It follows paparazzi and everybody else. 
the guys and that, that judge not judge Judy, but the other guy that does the the other show. But anyway, um, you know he's banging her. He's got banging her. You know. So anyway, let's get back to let's get off of this crap. Okay, the kids can come back into the room now. Okay, um, back to medical. Okay, uh, Sandy. This is important, guys. Okay, uh, she missed her appointment. Uh, she was sick, and um, she was nervous. She'd been up all night, wasn't feeling too good. Her stomach was sick to her. She was sick to her stomach, okay? So I went about ready to take her to the damn doctors and be sick around the doctors. I didn't know if it, another reason is because she's, she's scared of the new flu that come out, guys. That's my defense, you know, I'm sticking to it. Because, you know, you don't know. That new flu that come out is already in 40-some states. I think it's 42 states, guys. I mean, for Christ's sakes, how many more people have to die before we get it fixed? Have you ever thought, I'm not trying to blame anybody. This, well, I am blaming somebody. How, I mean, how often do you think made the governments behind this? Okay, number one, I could tell you, exhibit, I'm going to act like a lawyer now for a second. Exhibit A, financial crisis, okay? Okay, stock market's going berserk, up, down, okay? Gasoline prices, highest has ever been in history. Not now, but it was. It's going to be again this summer, too, coming up. Okay. Also, dairy products like milk, nine dollars a gallon. Not yet. Okay, it's going to be futuristic. Future. Okay, it's talk, but it could happen. I'm saying. Look, when we're looking at, we're already in it. We're already in it next year, I think, or maybe happen next year, like Cindy just said. Okay, but yeah, but still, if it happens, it's gonna, it's gonna be bad. It might happen before then. I mean, I, of course, a plane might crash right and come down on this freaking park, too, and, and kill us all. You know, that can happen, too. I know I know what you guys are thinking. But, uh, yes, a lot of things can happen. What if thinking, okay? But, anyway, um, I'm a little scared myself, okay? Um, more than a little scared. The doctor needs to do the right test, bottom line. He needs to do a colonoscopy on Cindy instead of fucking around. Excuse the language. Whoops, kids are in it. Okay, bleep, bleep again. But anyway, um, he needs to do a colonoscopy on her. Yeah, I don't have to go into details on this, especially for my kids. Okay, you guys should get the picture. <laughs> exactly, get the picture of what I'm talking about. I'm laughing because I know the picture is. You guys do too. Um, uh, garden hose, whatever you want to use, you know, with flasher on there. But anyway, um, I use a fucking flashlight. Um, seriously, this ain't joking. Okay, this pulp, polyps, they can find pulps or whatever, polyps, whatever you call those son, son of guns, son of guns. Okay, is it better? Okay, um, I must look up some more stuff about this, and I'm going to get back to you guys on a second part of this video, because this is already getting 13 minutes now on here. And a lot of this cutting up and joking around. I did watch Judge, Judge Mathis today. It was really, really good. Judge Mathis is brilliant. And I also want to tell you a little story about, um, listen to this one. This guy, uh, he was running this, this not strip club or whatever. He was a pimp. Right? Pimp daddy. Big old pimp daddy. Okay, ball and a guy <clears throat> like Steve. Steve Velko show. Pimp Velko, Velko, whatever his name is. Okay, <laughs> I don't mean to make fun of him, but um, he took 10, 10 oxycontins a day. Okay, 80 milligrams, guys. Can you believe that? I thought 10 Vicodins were a lot. Okay, 10 Vicodins, 10 Vicodins is almost equivalent to a, uh, let me think here, to, uh, to one of uh, her pills is... Um, uh, Oxycontin, 80 milligram bars, or not bars, actually 60 milligrams. It's actually less 
valuable than hers. So it uh, comes out to about 60 milligrams of Oxycontin. Okay, Oxycodone is Percocet naturally. You get some minus 7.5 times that by 2 makes 15 milligrams. So if I take two of those, it makes 15 milligrams. It lasts me all day. No, I don't need strong pills all the freaking time. I'm going to have them, you know. But doctors, not, my doctor's not supposed to know that. But anyway, I, that's the way I like to take them. And that's why I want to take them. So whatever makes my back feel better, I mean, screw the doctor. So, I mean, uh, yes, you, I mean, they're nice enough to give it to me. Okay. I've been getting them for years. So that's all that matters. But anyway, back down to the point. Like I always told you, you're the captain, captain of your own ship. You know when it's coming in. That's all I'm saying. Hey, I'm not saying to be an addict. Hey, I'm not saying to do what this guy's doing in court. Take 10 oxycontins, 80 milligrams. That's stupid, okay? I don't know how the guy's alive today. Hey, truth. He was a big old guy. Big is bigger than Dog the Bounty Hunter. Bigger than all of his kids. I mean, he only, he didn't, I mean, this guy, I mean, I pictured him being like 120 pounds, taking that much pills. You know, as much, he is being taken 10 a day. Come on. He must have been selling 10 a day, not taking 10 a day. He's rich. He's a rich boy. Rich guy. He probably is a kid, probably to me. I'm 42. He's about maybe about 30, about 32, maybe. You know, God bless America and God bless whatever's left of America. And we still are on alert. So, buy extra food, guys. Please do. Because I have a weird feeling it's not over yet. Yeah, I'm just warning. This is not a threat. This is not going to be a threat. I'm just telling you, be prepared because I don't know. I have a weird feeling about something. I just don't know time or day, that's all. I'm not God, I'm not Jesus, okay? But I would have a weird feeling about something. Look at the freezing point. Look at the Davin point. Look what the California has been going through lately. Zero degrees weather almost, okay? That's a hint, okay? Broken pipes we have here, okay? That's to give you an example. Okay, hey, God bless you guys, military, serving our country, and God bless you guys, and thank you for praying for me for trying to withdraw from Xanax, okay? I appreciate it, okay? I am going to smarten up. I'm taking my Xanax. I took my Xanax a while ago. I'm starting to feel a little bit better now. It's just taking time to kick in. But God bless you all, and I'm going to shorten this up. Both shorten this up a long time ago. Okay, the kids were out of the room, I hope, so I'm going to go ahead and make Fill in the blanks here and make this go fly like a spaceship. Okay, I'm kidding. Um, okay, I'll see you all later. God bless. Have a good one. Be safe. More power to you. Denver kicks in Obamacare, guys. Okay? Because what are we going to do without it? Think about it. I mean, and maybe there's a reason, you know, for that, honestly. I mean, there's reason for everything in this world. I mean, doctors, okay, listen, I'll tell you a little secret. It's not really a secret. It probably was on the news. You've probably seen it. Okay, it's so bad in hospitals now on doctors. i seen, they claim, okay, i seen doctors have taken, um, what is it called, uh, money from people, um, charities, money, um, Donations, that's the word. Donations from people because something about the insurance companies aren't paying them enough money for their services. Even though an insurance company, can, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. An insurance company can't deny you coverage for you to be seen from a doctor. They're not saying that. What they're trying to do is trying to cut down the limitations on, on how much they're going to pay a doctor. You see? That's what is going on in the world. Okay? Okay, like example. During the decay, okay, let's go with that thing I said about the cow disease. Okay? 
meat that you eat, and uh, it's rare. Okay, that one was rare. One out of one million cases were reported back in the old days. And now they're having an epidemic coming out now. So I've hear, heard. Okay, not only do they have an epidemic of that coming out, they have an epidemic of the flu coming out too on top of that. So we really got to watch our health care system. I mean, in a way, it's good that we have what we have today. I don't like to say too much, but it's good to have, you know, uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Stephen again. I'd like to make a video. Yes, it's me again. And uh, Cindy's in the house, of course. Um, I stopped the ice cream man and uh, got myself some ice cream. Fell up better now. They got a sugar and spend so high. Get out there. Um, I want to speak a little bit about um, too much protein, okay, and brain diseases, okay. Actually, it goes into uh, the old-fashioned days of uh, cow's disease, I think they call it. Um, yeah, it's an easier way of saying it for brain diseases is the old cow disease. I think I think of like some I think. Um, Okay, if this is basically the, the synthesis of this, the, where the break this down is to say, okay, too much protein is in the brain, okay? And when you have too much protein for, that's concoction, like stuck in the brain, around the brain, hemorrhages, you know, hemispheres and you have meningenes and all this stuff, are fancy words. Basically, if you have too much uh, protein on any part of your body, especially the brain, even the kidneys, it can destroy the kidney. Okay, here's how it works. Hey, 